Jennifer Crumble, the mother of the Oxford, Michigan high school shooter who killed four students in 2021, convicted this week of four counts of involuntary manslaughter for the actions of her son, first parent in America, to be criminally convicted for the deaths in a mass shooting that her child committed. The prosecutors proved that she actually caused the four deaths. To be convicted of involuntary manslaughter, you need that. And that it was reasonably foreseeable. Her son allegedly reported hallucinations he was experiencing to his parents, cries for help over his claims of, among other things, their house being haunted. But Jennifer Crumbly on the stand last week said she didn't know about it and never thought her son needed therapy. And you don't deny that you never once Never once took him to see a therapist or counselor. No, I did not. You did not. And even though he was allegedly begging for help, at least according to text messages, prosecutors say the parents still bought him a gun. Jennifer Crumbly told us whose gun that was. She told us when she posted it on social media, it was his Christmas present, and she told you in this trial. That weapon is not just that weapon. It is the defendant's son's gun. It was gifted to him. And not only was it gifted to him, she talked about it. They also pointed to the parents being called into school on the morning of the incident after their son got caught drawing a picture with a gun like the one his dad had purchased for him with the words blood everywhere, my life is useless. Jennifer Crumbly now facing up to 60 years question that I have for all of you is going to be what kind of sentence will she get? What happens with the husband's trial? What do you make of the verdict? Back with us, Geraldo Rivera and Jeanette Levy and Jesse Weber and Jeanette and Jesse both with the Law and Crime Network. And Jeanette, let me start with you. First of all, were you surprised by the verdict and what kind of sentence are, are you expecting her to get? I was somewhat surprised, um, but then after hearing some of the testimony about her being at the school that day, saying that she couldn't leave, leave work to take care of him or to take him home, when you get called to school and you get a call like that as a parent, you know that it's pretty serious and you need to do something. And then the fact that the juror, the jury foreperson, had told uh, some news outlets that Jennifer was the last person to handle the gun, and that's why they found her guilty. I wasn't all that surprised. Because Ethan got a life sentence, I think the judge will likely uh, sentence her very heavily. Uh, I think she will get a very tough sentence. She could get the max. I'm, I'm just not so cer certain she will get the max, but I think she will go to prison for a very long time. I think they want to use this case to send a message to parents that this behavior is not acceptable and that when your child is basically crying out for help, you need yep. to listen and not now, put a gun I'll, in their hands. I'll say something. I don't think she's going to get anywhere near the max, but, bef but before we go there, I want to play, because Anjanette mentioned the jury four person. This is the jury four person um, on the Today Show on Wednesday explaining why they reached the verdict that they did. For me, um, I just feel like Jennifer didn't separate her son from the gun enough to save those lives that day. Geraldo, I'm, I'm predicting five to ten years for Jennifer Crumbly. You think more? No, I think uh, that's about right, Dan. I was thinking 10 percent of uh, 60. I think six years is, uh, is, uh, is appropriate. Uh, it, it, that's a stiff sentence also. Uh, but uh, the jury has found her guilty after 11 hours of torturous uh, uh, deliberation. Uh, but I have a proposal to, to make some good out of this. Uh, may I, Dan? Please. Okay. So you know how there are now uh, Miranda warnings. Everybody knows what a Miranda warning is. You have the right to remain silent. It's the, basically uh, to inform the, uh, the detainee uh, that you, uh, you don't have to cooperate, you don't have yeah. to speak, you don't have to testify against yourself, uh, or you have, you have the right to have an attorney. I want a crumbly warning. This is the first impression. This is the first time it's happened. I want a warning that every time a parent goes to a gun store with, a, with an underage uh, child to purchase a weapon, I want the store owner to be forced to read you are the parent of uh, Jack Jones. You are buying this nine millimeter. Uh, you know this is a deadly weapon. And uh, the child uh, 
uh, is your responsibility, and you've signed for it, and now uh, there is definite parental responsibility attached to this, and here's your card to show that you are vouching for this 15-year-old with this deadly weapon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.